To create a schedule in a lock profile, first click on the uh, lock profile that you want the schedule to be in. Click on schedules. And in the schedules window, you see two different areas. You see the time zone area and you see the schedule entry area. In the time zone area, this consists of the day of the week that you want this uh, schedule to take effect, what time you want the schedule to start, and what time you want the schedule to stop what month, if you have a particular month that you want the schedule to be effective in, and what day of the month if you want it to only affect one day or multiple days of a week. And you can also enable and disable specific days of the week that you want a schedule to take effect. Now this is what I call the when portion, when you want the schedule to take effect. Now the schedule entry is what I call the what portion, what do you want to happen when uh, in a specific time zone. Uh, in this, you have a description, you have a user or a group if you're going to affect a specific user or group number, you have different events, and then you also pick the time zone that you want this event to occur during. So to create a passage mode schedule, then we would create our time zone, which we can have multiple time zones, so you just click on add and you have additional time zones. So we're going to pick a, a different time zone here. And we are going to change our time to 7 a.m. for our start time. Now, if we want to have all of our start times to set uh, to be at the set, same set time, then we can right-click on that start time and then set all as current. And we do the same thing for our stop time. So maybe we want it to be 4 p.m. instead of uh, 5. And again, right-click your mouse and set all as current. I'm going to uncheck Sunday and Saturday because I only want this schedule to take effect Monday through Friday. Now that I have my time zone set, I come down to my schedule entry and I choose uh, a description for it. So say passage mode Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. I do not pick a user or group in this, uh, in this instance but I do pick an event, and my event will either be unlock or lock. So I'm going to pick unlock. That's the event that I want to happen at the start time. I pick my time zone, which is the time zone that I'm working with up here that I have set my schedule for, which is time zone number two. Switch to schedule view. Click yes. And now you see that your schedule is set for Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., the door will unlock and Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. the door will lock back. Now if you go program this lock uh, in between the 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. time period, then the schedule will not take effect until the next day. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative. And if you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com and click on the Resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals you can watch uh, recorded webinars, you can attend a live webinar, uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post it will go directly to your inbox. we will make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com. And I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site.